Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Happy Thursday morning to you. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma, and this is what I call my morning musings. Been enjoying a great cup of coffee this morning. And before I get into the text of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, I want to remind you of the limited offer uh, on my brand new DVD series on Acts 1, 9 through 11, and the promise of the angel that Jesus would come, quote, in like manner. We're told that that demands that at some point of time in our future, uh, at the end of the Christian age, at the end of time, Jesus is going to come out of heaven in a five foot five Jewish man's body riding a cumulus cloud. Uh, this is the most extensive study of Acts 1, 9 through 11 that I'm aware of. Each lesson is between 45 and 55 minutes long. Tons of material in here, tons of evidence. You will absolutely be blown away with the material here that proves the angel was not predicting what the historic Orthodox Church claims he was saying. Regular price will be $44.95 plus $4.95 shipping. Okay, until the end of March 2015, total delivered price $35. Go to my website, send me an email for how to do that, or just go to PayPal and send me $35. Say, I saw the offer on Acts 1 DVDs. And that's it, $35. It'll save you well over $10. Take advantage of that now. Don't want to miss out. Okay, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and remember, what we've been doing up to this time is examining all of the uh, references to eschatology prior to 1 Thessalonians 4. Looked at all of the eschatological references after 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And we saw that there is one united story. It is one eschaton, one coming of the Lord, and it referred to what was going to take place in the first century in the fall of Jerusalem in A.D. 70. There is no disparity, there is no dichotomy, and there is no difference between the discussion of eschatology prior to and after 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Uh, it's all one story. Now, I want you to notice something. And I developed this in my book, don't forget, We Shall Meet Him in the Air, The Wedding of the King of Kings, the first and only full preterist commentary on 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 that's ever been produced. Notice it says, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. Now I want to just touch something that is absolutely fascinating here. In Ephesians chapter 4, it says, When he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Well, guess what? Many people believe, many scholars believe, that when Jesus ascended, he took, he took the souls of the righteous out of Hades. I want you to ask yourself the question, who saw that happen? Did the apostles see the righteous dead come out of Hades? Did they see the righteous dead ascend with Jesus? No. Okay, since we are talking about the coming of Jesus with the dead, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is the same coming of Acts chapter 1, right? Promised in Acts chapter 1. Okay, when Jesus ascended, he ascended. And Ephesians chapter 4, if it's understood properly, tells us of the righteous dead ascending with him. But wait a minute. Nobody saw that. The ascension of the dead with Jesus at his ascension only took place after Jesus was taken out of their sight. Well, okay. Then if the ascension of the righteous dead with Christ at his ascension, actually took place in the unseen realm. And if 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is the coming of, of Christ to fulfill Acts chapter 1, and it's coming with the dead, upon what basis do we say, oh, well, yeah, the ascension of the dead with Christ was, was in the unseen realm, but this is in the seen realm. Really? Where's the evidence for that? 
There is no juxtaposition here. There is no contrast between, well, yes, uh, the ascension of the dead with Christ was in the unseen realm, but this is different. This is different. Where does it say it's different? Where does it indicate it's different? It is the coming of the dead, the dead who are in the unseen realm, with Christ. Why is it in the unseen realm? I develop that and a whole lot more, remember, in my book, We Shall Meet Him in the Air, The Wedding of the King of Kings. Book is $23.95 plus $4.95 shipping. But go to my websites, order the book, mention you saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook, and I'll refund your shipping, all right? Save you $5. Hey, thanks so much for joining me for this morning's morning musings. And, yes, we have a whole lot more. You have a fantastic weekend. Be careful. Be safe. God bless. Lord willing, I'll see you on Monday.